Okay. So today we're going to be looking at the Slasher from Anto Scienza. Uh, this is a really interesting bot, mainly because it's pretty much a unique archetype. I'm not sure if I can think of any other Slashers in the game other than Anto's. And this is the third version of it. The older versions looked a little bit different. But yeah, this is a pretty interesting bot because um, it's a slasher, so it's not a chomper or a pincer. Instead, this whole top of the turret rotates to one side and the bottom rotates to the other side. So it's a very interesting uh, extra ability that we have here. Cool bot. I've been a fan of it for a while. I haven't played it in a while, so I'm interested to see how it performs now. We'll get started with the speed run, testing mobility, and then we'll bring it into test and we'll shoot it with the turret, do some Gary runs, all that fun stuff. Then we'll play some games with it, get our scores there, and then we'll do our subjective category scores and get the final rating. All right, so let's start with the speed test. Okay, so that was about, uh, it was a couple seconds under three minutes. It was about 255 or 250. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the plasma to D-gun. And then we're going to do plasma to de-seat. Uh, with both of these tests, I shoot it from the front, the back, and the side. And then I average them. And this will be a little bit interesting, actually, because the AIO has changed since I um, have tested the last bot with an AIO on it. It used to always be two plasmas to degun the AIO. I think it's three or four now. So we're going to see... That's one. That's two. That's three. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's one. Uh, that's two. That's three. That's an average of three and a third. Okay, so now we're gonna test the plasma to D seat from front, back, and side. So aiming straight for the pilot seat. Gonna see how many shots to D seat. Eleven. Twelve. We're beating Smee now. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen plasmas to DC from the front. 
Wow. Okay, plasma to D seat from the side. Aiming straight for the seat. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. And now from the back. And five. So that is an average of 8.67 plasmas to D seat, which is very good. Okay, so Gary laps. For the Gary lap, I'm just trying to. Oh, sorry. Let me just start that. Okay, so Gary laps. So for a Gary lap, if you don't know, if he's never seen this before, uh, I just shoot a Gary, and then I try to make it around this center tower as many times as I can before I die. We test it three times and then we average it. So we just need to aggro a Gary. I'll wait for him to get out of my way. There we are. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> yeah, that was like three quarters of a lap. Okay, so maybe I'll um, test it starting from down here. It's not going to make too much of a difference, like this 10 feet of distance. For most bots, this doesn't matter. Unless you're getting stuck here. <laughs> right? So I think uh, in the future, I'll just start the test from down here instead of up there. Not a huge change. All right, here we go. Okay, only half a lap there. Okay, test two. So that is an average of uh, two thirds. Okay, so for the last test, I'm going to try to kill all four Garys. If I'm able to do it easily, then I won't bother testing it again. But if I have trouble, or if I don't kill all of them, then I'll do it three times and I'll average it. So with a bot like this, it's kind of fun because I get to just pick a Gary and obliterate it for the start. All right, let's go for this one. See, I wanna, I wanna try to slash him, like prepare the slash and then get him stuck in the scissors, if I can. Maybe I'll do this guy. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> well, that works. Hmm. Yeah, that was pretty easy. So now we just have to play five games of it, get our results there, and then we'll have our objective score. And then we can move on to the subjective categories and that will give us our final verdict.
try hard time. I see you. Oh, nice. GG. Okay, get your serious pants on, guys. Oops. Oh, nice. We chopped the tentacle. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, God. I definitely should have taken Grub more seriously there. <laughs> Oh, nice! Oh god, I hear Grub. Oh no. Woo. This thing is uh, pretty good against the Scorpio. Nice. Oh! took the lead. Victory! <laughs> GG! Action. Oh! Hello! Aha! How are you gonna chomp me with no chomper arms? it
test run this is uh in minutes so the decimal format so this is um what this is like 50 and change so it's uh two minutes 50 seconds or so and that in decimals it's about 2.84 plasmas to deceit this was definitely the strength of the bot here it was 8.67 for the uh, average plasmas to DC, which is pretty impressive. Especially from the front, it was really impressive. Plasmas to D gun. Uh, so this, it's an AIO, and I'm not sure about the AIO balance right now, if something is weird with plasma or not, but this is what we got. It was uh, two from the front and back, and it was uh, three from the side, I believe. So we ended up getting an uh, average of 3.34. Number of Gary laps, uh, similarly, we got uh, two-thirds here on average. Gary body count, we were able to kill all four easily. Win-loss results, we went 3-2, so we pick up one extra point here. Okay. So now the subjective scores. For mobility, I had to give it a three. Uh, so for reference... To give some comparison here, the freighter is a 4, and Smee is also a 4. And I feel like the slasher, it's slightly slower than both of those bots, right? It's not too much slower, but it is a little bit slower. And the uh, turn speed is also pretty slow, just because of how heavy it is. 
And then really what brings it to a three though is just the fact that the nose can get caught when you're going down hills. And that's really the deciding factor I think here. This was really hard for me to actually pick between three and four. If I was doing 0.5s on this, I would probably make it a 3.5. But I'm I'm not doing that. I'm just going for three or four. Yeah, I think a, a three for mobility is pretty accurate. For the turret, it's an AIO, so it just gets five. Not much to explain here. Uh, if it was a custom turret, I would be judging it on the speed of the turret, the range, like the firing angle that you have available, and the tankiness of the turret. But if it's an AIO, I just give it five. For style points, I gave it an 8, and I will bring up the bot here so we can talk briefly about why. So first of all, you know, we've got this awesome, like, racing stripe on the cherry red theme going on here. Very nice. But then also, the bot itself has a nice uh, aesthetic shape to it, you know. It really feels like a hammer. It feels like I could just pick this up in my hand and smack somebody with it. <laughs> That's nice. And then I'm not sure whether... Ah! When you're in the bot, the lights are on. And these lights look pretty cool. Especially because they show up on this part here, right, right here. You can see it illuminates the blades. And that looks awesome. And that's really what brought it from a 7 to 8 to me. Okay. So tankiness, I also gave it an 8 here. Uh, the reason why... So... I'm not just judging on plasma to DC here, you know? I mean, that's one way to judge this, right? But I'm also thinking about, like, do you have a weak spot on your bot? And that's why this gets an 8 and Smee gets a 7. Because they're both pretty similar on how many plasmas they can tank. But this can tank a little bit more from the front, and it doesn't have that super thin weak spot on the back and side. You know, for Smee, the pilot seat is, like, in the back corner, you know? So compared to Smee, I feel like um, this one, it's a little bit more tanky. So I gave it an 8, where Smee got a 7. For profile, profile is the shape of the bot, like how difficult you are to hit. I'm not considering, like, how fast you are or anything here. Just the shape of the bot, you know. Is it really big? You know, is it a wide surface area? I gave it a 4 here, just because it's slightly large. You know, similar to the freighter. It's easy to shoot at, and, you know, it probably would be higher, but the way the bot is designed, you know, it has a lot of weight and a lot of mass, but it's all, like, spread out over a very low profile. So when you're in close combat situations with certain bots, it's actually hard to hit it just because of how low to the ground it is. And same thing when you're like going up and down terrain, you know, you get a lot more cover because you're so low to the ground. So, you know, if it was a five, that would be like the standard, right? This is just below that and it's only because it's really big. But because of the shape of the bot, it's not getting deducted further here. Extra abilities. I gave it a 6 here. It's better than your average extra ability, which is what I would sort of mark as a 5, right? The slash is a pretty good extra ability. The only reason it's not higher is because it's a little bit hard to control, like, the effectiveness of it. It's a little bit of a hit and miss. But when it works, oh, it works. And it's also pretty nice because, um, you know, you tend to get more than one slash. It usually doesn't break immediately, like a lot of chompers do. So usually you can actually get a few kills with the slash, or at least a few, like, really good attacks. 
So I definitely think it's better than your standard extra ability. It's not godlike though. Okay. So with all of that, our objective score was 6.87. Our category score is 6.8, which gives us a final verdict of, drum roll, 6.8, which is a bit above Smee, which is pretty impressive because Smee is a pretty good bot. But yeah, this is a pretty great bot. I especially like it because it's unique. You know, I, like I said at the start of this, I don't think there's another slasher on the market. I think you're the only one with a slasher, Anto. Yeah, we had some pretty great clips, right? That clip of the Judicator. Oh yeah, I guess Ben's uh, scissors kind of qualify. You know, we saw that today. His scissors are, um, I mean, it's a little bit different though because this like, the way, um, the way it spins, I guess. <laughs> Like this one is definitely more of a like hammer to the left or right. Whereas uh Ben's is meant to be more of a chomper. You know, with Ben's it's like you do it like this and then you chomp on it.